so sa video na ito ituro ko ang basic trigonometry so narinig ko na ba yung sinasabi so ka towa so ka towa sabihin yan is sine opposite hypotenuse cosine adjacent hypotenuse and tangent opposite adjacent ginagamit yan sa trigonometry or sa triangles right um, specifically right triangles okay so meron tayo dito theta o nari angle then ano yung opposite nitong angle dito opposite diba sa lungat nya then adjacent side to then sa right triangle diba meron yan yung hypotenuse o yung the longest side okay paano yan ibig sabihin nyo itong S yung sine equal yan sya sa opposite over hypotenuse diba so opposite over hypotenuse then yung cosine equal yan sya sa adjacent over hypotenuse then yung tangent equal yan sya sa opposite over adjacent then hindi lang yan meron pa tayo dyan patapos yung sine meron niyang reciprocal ito yung tinatawag na cosecant yung cosecant is hypotenuse over opposite reciprocal nyo lang ang cosine naman ang kasi pokal niya is second second which is hypotenuse over adjacent and then yung sa tangent is cotangent ang kasi pokal niya is adjacent over opposite so ito yung basic sa trigonometry so magsasolve na tayo ng sample problem So now let's say we have a right triangle with an angle here given na angle dito then yung opposite niya is 3 then the adjacent is 4 So kunyari hindi natin alam tong hypotenuse anong pwede natin gamitin dyan pag right triangle di ba yung Pythagorean theorem yung a squared plus b squared equal c squared o, ano yung a natin dito 3, 3 squared plus 4 squared equal c squared then 9 plus 16 equal c squared then 9 plus 16 is 25 and is equal to c squared where c is equal to 5 lang dapat plus minus 5 e eh, kaso length yan eh so walang negative na length so positive lang yan so the third angle or, or the hypotenuse is 5 so magsawag na tayo paano pag sinabing sine theta ano na nga ito sya ang sine theta is ano yung sine opposite over hypotenuse so ano yung opposite ng angle 3 then the hypotenuse is 5 so yun lang then ang cosine theta, theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse ano adjacent ng angle? 4 then the hypotenuse na 5 then ang tangent theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent so ano yung opposite? 3 then the adjacent is 4 yun yun lang ano yung cosecant theta cosecant is yung reciprocal ng sign which is hypotenuse over opposite which is equal to 5 over 3 and yung second theta naman is hypotenuse over adjacent is equal to 5 over 4 and the last one is the cotangent theta which is the adjacent over opposite is equal to 4 over 3 so ayan lang kasimple yung trigonometry so, mag-last example tayo.
So, last example natin. Meron tayong triangle na. Like this. And this is the angle. The angle. Let angle X. Then, the opposite side is 5. And the adjacent side is 12. So, nga rin binigay ng teacher niyo yung hypotenuse para hanapin. Di ba, Pythagorean theorem? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Sa nyo, ano, kahit saan lang dyan yung ano, piliin nyo sa legs kasi either lang yan. So, kanyari, 5 squared plus 12 squared equals C squared. 5 squared is equal to 25. Then, 12 squared is equal to 144 din C squared. Pag-add natin, 169 is equal to C squared. Then, C is equal to 13. So, the hypotenuse is 13. Okay, so, pagkawin natin, may pinapahanap yung lahat yung 6. So, try ko. Sin X is equal to, hindi na natin isulat. Alam na natin dapat yan. Opposite over hypotenuse na yung opposite ng angle X, 5. And the hypotenuse is 13. Then, cosine X na yung adjacent ay side, 12. And the opposite is 13. Then, ano yung tan X? Tangent X is equal to the opposite over adjacent which is 5 over 12. And the cos second x is equal to 13 over 5. Kasi po ka lang. Second x is equal to 13 over 12. And the cotangent x is equal to 12 over 5. That's it.